Hello and welcome to a boxing informational video. I'm your local staff member John here and today we're going to dive right into what some of the major changes are between boxing version 2.0 and 3.0. Time to link it up, here is where it's going down. Connect your Discord to your Roblox account to my server owners. The first and one of the most exciting changes is our new Trello integration. What this does it lets you adjust Bloxing settings and bindings through Trello cards. To get started, you simply run the setup command on your server, and it should be a very quick setup. Let's start with our verified role name here. You can see that it's set to John. And if you finish setting up, you'll notice that while adjusting your settings on Discord through the settings command and the bind command, Bloxing will create and update cards on your Trello board automatically. So if we try to change the verified role name to Nub, then we check on Trello, the board magically updated to Nub. And one of our coolest features on our new Trello integration is that you can create totally new cards for the bot to use instead. So if we come down here and try to create a welcome message card, notice it is case sensitive, so you do have to use the correct bot format. And we write, hello world, save it. It could take up to a few minutes to be updated to your server. And come here and we write settings view and see that it was updated to hello world, just like you wrote on your Trello. What if you just want to edit one of your Trello cards? Well, you can do that too. With these cards that the bot makes, you can edit them on Trello and have the settings completely update on Discord. So we can change their verified role name to John again low, click save, head back to Discord, can run settings view, you'll see that like magic just updated the verified role name. And those are pretty much the basics of our new Trello integration. And now for one of the largest changes in the whole Bloxing update is that a primary group is now a linked group binding. That basically means that for these linked groups, the bot will acquire roles that have the same name as the rank name in the Roblox group. It's like basically what MassBind did, except there's not really a MassBind command anymore. It's all linked into binds. So we just added the blocks in group. We can check under our server roles. And you can see all these roles are from all the binds we added. At the top, you can see our blocks and roles were successfully added, each one. Let's close out of that and check our new feature, our new bind command. The bind command now handles everything related to bindings, whether that is a binding for assets, a group, a game pass, or a badge, pretty much everything. This means that you no longer have to remember all the commands needed to bind everything. It's all in there in one tidy place. To help simplify your life when trying to configure the bot, a bunch of functions that were once in Bloxing 2.0 have now been added to the settings menu for you to change there. Our next feature that will help make your life simpler is you can now use the update command to update up to 10 people at a time. May your mass promotions be quicker now. Next up is, have you ever wondered if people can be direct messaged when they join the server based on if they're verified or not? Well, of course you did, and now you can! Using the join DM command, you can now change the message that verified, hello verified world, and unverified people will get, hello unverified world. And you can check on settings view, join DM is now set to true. And of course, you are able to disable both of them as well from the command itself. It will ask you if you want to disable it from the unverified and verified section as well, and you just have to say disable. And you can check settings view, join DM is now set to false. Alright, most of us experienced this before. Ever had that user that has no clue how to verify by adding a code to their profile? Well now, we added an alternate way to verify. While linking in an account with the verify command, be sure to choose the game option and then you just simply follow the steps to bot prompts for a far easier process. It'll give you a link, open it up. You click yes, that's me after you verify that's your Discord. It'll say all done, say thank you, head back to the Discord. Then you're gonna say done, and you'll get a confirmation message from Blockslink showing your new account. Let's check. And this is my new alt account with Blockslink. Very easy way to verify.
Thanks for sticking around guys, that concludes our summary video of what some of the major changes are between Boxing version 2.0 and Boxing version 3.0. Thanks for watching, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video and subscribe. This is our new Boxing official YouTube channel and we will be posting more content like this in the future. Be sure to check out the Boxing support server if you have any questions, links in the description. Also, make sure to follow our Twitch for fun streams. Let's link it up.